All right, so I'm about to make hot sauce and I realized that I'm out of star sand. Um, I use this to sanitize my bottles, my equipment, everything. If I'm making hot sauce or if I'm doing ferments, I use it all the time. I'd highly recommend it. The problem is the instructions are for making a five gallon batch. I don't need five gallons. I just need a spray bottle. So here's how I'm gonna cut that math up. We need one ounce of star sand per five gallons of water. So if we do that one fifth ounce per one gallon of water, that brings us down to 5.9 milliliters. One fifth of an ounce is 5.9 milliliters. But we don't wanna use a gallon. We wanna use a quarter of a gallon. So what we're gonna do now is just divide that by four. We've got 1.475 milliliters. So essentially one and a half milliliters of star sand into this bottle with a quarter gallon of water and you're ready to go. Right. Get down right there to just about one and a half milliliters. And we're gonna put it in the bottle. Get it all drained out. Our lids back on, don't wanna spill. I'm gonna fill this with water, give it a good shake, and it's ready to go. And there we have it. A little soapy because I just shook it up really good, but that'll settle. And then as long as it stays soapy like that, you should feel pretty confident that it's still a good batch, that it's active. Mine usually lasts me through, I don't know, maybe two batches of sauce or two ferment setups. So uh, that's why I make them in the smaller batches. I don't need five gallons sitting around. Super simple math, easier to hold, easier to use. Star sand, keep your stuff clean. See you next time. Peace.